Hello, my soccer universe. What a crazy week Ajax had. First, a losing Europa League qualifying. 1 0 at home to Panathinaikos. It goes into overtime to penalties. 18 shooters each. And Ajax actually win this one with their keeper pass fair saving 5. Seemingly, this cost a lot because they lose to Nak Breda 2 1, a team that is odds on to get relegated. Not good for them to enter out. Meanwhile, Feyenoord let out all the frustrations of only getting a draw on the opening day against Willem Dwey by beating Zwolle 5 1 away from home. Jimenez, of course, on the score sheet, adding a fourth and a fifth. PSV also still rolling. They get a 3 1 away win at Heracles, meaning they are again top of the table. They look like the strongest team in the Netherlands. At the moment, we also had a noticeable draw 1 1 between Herrenveen and Utrecht. Twente get their frustrations also not quite out of the system with a 1 1 against Sparta. On the other side, AZ get their second win of the season again. Just a 1 0 over Nijmegen. In Liga, both of the title favorites had impressive starts. First of PSG start at Le Havre, win 4-1 with the youngest ever squad in Ligue 1. Luis Enrique doing Luis Enrique things in a way. However, they leave it late to get this big win. On the other side, OM go to Brest, a Champions League team this time around. And the service man win 5-1 with Mason Greenwood involved in all five goals. Rather impressive stuff, I gotta say. We also had Lille starting out with a 2-0 win at Reims. Then another big one, Rennes beating Olympique Lyonnais at home 3-0. That was never in the cards, at least I thought, but it was a very convincing performance. Maybe Lyon will have another bad start to the season. Other notable results, of course, are Monaco's 1-0 win over Saint-Etienne. Kind of a little bit disappointing. We had Lens winning away at Angers. We had Nice losing at newly promoted Auxerre. So yeah, at least the favorites are off to a good start. The Premier League got going with Joshua Xerxes scoring a late winner for United against Fulham. That was in the end, I would say, the deserved result. In the big game of the weekend, we saw City getting an easy 2-0 win over Chelsea with Haaland scoring a crazy goal with few touches inside the box, but also Kovacic then scoring from a long distance against his former club. We had also Villa getting a 2-1 win at West Ham United, a good start. We had Arsenal getting an easy 2-0 over Wolves. Havertz on the score sheet. Liverpool was struggling at Ipswich a little bit in the first half. Second half it was an all easy. They get also a 2-0 win. The big result was Brighton going to Everton winning 3-0 there and fully deserved. And Hützler might be a candidate for the coach of the season. And then yesterday evening we also saw Leicester getting a relatively undeserved point against Spurs at home. Over to Portugal, where Braga easily mastered the hurdle Servette and now are set to play Rapid, the informed team from Austria. And they also get a 1-0 win away at Boa Vista, which was basically the marquee matchup of the round in Portugal. However, the most eye-catching result was definitely Sporting going to Nacional onto the islands and winning by 6-1. Sporting are in a remarkable early goal scoring form already having scored 9 in the first 2 games. Porto, maybe not that great, also went to Santa Clara onto the islands winning 2-0 there and Benfica bounced back after their horrifying opening day loss to Famalicão. They win 3-0 at home to Casa Pia. So getting the ship slightly righted if you would like. Let's finish our journey in La Liga where remarkably 19 of the 20 teams have scored this weekend. The only team not scoring was Espanyol losing 1-0 at fellow promoted side Valladolid. The shock of the round was Rayo going to San Sebastián and winning against Real Sociedad 2 goals to 1. However, the big story of course was Real Madrid and how great they will be. And yes, Rodrigo gave them a lead. However, Mallorca were much the better team and probably should have won that game. Morici only managing an equalizer and the front line not quite working as much as probably Angelotti and some of the other midfield players would like. Barcelona meanwhile get a 2-1 away win at Valencia, a hard ground to win. They were 1-0 down through Hugo Duro. However, before the half Lewandowski manages an equalizer and after the half he converts a penalty and Barcelona actually were not good for that win. We also had a crazy 2-2 draw yesterday evening between Villarreal and Atletico Madrid. Crazy open first half where Villarreal taking twice the lead. However, Atletico managing equalizer through Llorente and Sirloth. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, 
Here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!